course content. Here we are going to see what are the topics we are going to learn in this training program. Introduction to Gold, Silver and Stones In this topic, we are going to see what are the different forms of gold and how it is extracted from mines. Once the gold is extracted, we are going to see how this gold is refined to get its purest form. Then we are going to see how this pure gold is then converted to gold bars. Later on, we are going to witness how these bars are converted to different jewelries. Then, silver. You might have a question that this, the gold appraising training program, why? I have to learn about silver. Here, I need to re insist one thing to you that this program is all about gold appraising. This program is specifically designed in such a way that this program will help you to become an appraiser in a bank. It is not silver appraiser program or gemology program or diamond grading or platinum appraising. We are just going to see about appraising the gold. Even though we are going to slightly see about silver because it is used for making spurious jewelries. Hence, we are in the position to learn how to identify silver. So, we are going to see about silver also. Stones. As narrated already, it's not gemology program. We need how to calculate the weight of the stone that are set in jewelry. Here, we are going to calculate weight of the stone in the jewelry without affecting the beauty of the jewelry. Here, we are not going to remove the stones from the jewelry. Without removing, we are going to calculate the exact weight of the stones. So, we are going to learn about the methods and techniques used for the calculation and deduction. Basic Metallurgy of Gold In this topic, we are going to see what are the different metals that are used to mix with gold. By mixing different metals to gold, it affects the color of the gold. Later on, we are going to see how the purity of different colors of gold are identified. Especially, we are going to see the combination and composition of different metals and how it leads to different colors. Earlier, only copper and silver was used to mix with gold. So, we used to get red and yellow color, whereas not many other metals are getting mixed with gold. And it gives different colors like white, green, pink and more. Now, let's take white color gold. How the color of gold got changed to white color? It doesn't mean that adding silver will not change the gold into white color. We need to know what are the other metals that are mixed along with gold to get this white color. These are the things we are going to see in practical session. Also, we are going to see what are the colors that are eligible for gold loan and the reason behind that. How we will be identifying those properly. Next topic is solder. Generally, solder is the metal used to join two different metals together. The solder acts as the third filler metal. We are going to see what are the different composition of these solders and also we are going to understand what metal is used as solder for making gold jewelry. Whether these solders are gold or not. If different metals are added with gold, then how it affects the purity of gold jewelry. During valuation, what are the factors we have to consider 
and how much percentage for solder has to be considered for different types of jewelries. Generally, there are different kinds of solders. We are going to see what and how it affects the purity of jewelry. For an appraiser, solder is an important topic to learn. Weight and balances. In this topic, we are going to see what are the basic things to be considered for weighing the jewelry. Next is hall marking. Generally, if you see any jewelry, there will be a marking denoting purity of that jewelry. There will be two types of marking. One is the marking done by shopkeeper themselves, denoting the purity of gold. The other one is the hall marking which is certification provided by central government through Bureau of Indian Standards which is known as BIS. We are going to see what is the difference between these two markings and which marking is reliable one. If it is hall marking, how to identify it is a hall marked jewelry? These are the topics we are going to see in this session. Next one is a saying. A saying is nothing but valuation of particular thing. Here we are going to appraise the purity of gold jewelry. You may think whether we need to identify the purity of jewelry only through rubbing. Is there any possibility of using other equipments for assaying the purity? There are many methods available. If you see, for identifying the purity, there are two different methods. One, the jewelry is melted and the small sample of the melted jewelry is taken and appraised. This method is known as destructive method. And the other method is that appraising the purity of the ornament without affecting the beauty of jewelry. We are going to see what are the equipment available in this non-destructive method and how the purity of the ornament is calculated. Next is the touchstone testing. Touchstone testing is done by rubbing the ornament on the stone and testing its purity. In this particular topic, we are going to learn it in both theoretically and practically because this is the most important one among all the above topics.